This screencast will show you how to use a 3D software to make uh, a sketch underlay useful for concept sketching. Now here I'm using Google SketchUp uh, and I'm going to make a model of my Olympus OMD EM5. Now this is uh, a quite a complex camera so it's a good thing to test out um, modeling on. So you can see I'm, um, I've am i started out with um, a block which is pretty much the reasonably accurate dimensions of the camera and now I'm just sketching by eye um, various principal features of the form. Um, now this particular program um, Google SketchUp is quite easy to use. It's very good for architectural models, not really very well adapted for industrial design models. It doesn't do compound cur curves very well, so it's very good for kind of rectilinear forms. Um, and that's okay for our purposes because in this case I'm trying to make a model which I will use to generate a printout um, to enable me to sketch concepts on, over the top of. So I don't need a great deal of complexity, I just need the overall form. Now you might uh, employ this technique if you're struggling with the shape of a form for an idea for a, for a product concept and you're not quite sure how to work out the geometry. Well you can essentially uh, build it in uh, the 3D software um, to, in order to solve some of the geometry and uh, then print it out and build on that on paper. So the problem is of course is that it's very easy to get drawn into the process of building a 3D model and end up uh, getting lost in it, putting too much time into what is not a presentation model but is in just in fact a sketching aid. So you have to be careful that you don't get too uh, lost in it and end up burning up too much time on something which isn't really that useful. So remember this is a sketching aid not uh, presentation aid in this case and uh, so it's really about uh, doing things quickly and simply so that we've got a useful tool for sketching for later on. So uh, in this video you can see me uh, using the sketching the pencil tool, the extrusion tool called the pull tool in in this program and uh, zooming in and out and adding uh, various uh, lines, circles, uh, rectangles, etc. Now I'm working on the lens here. Now I think it's worthwhile me putting some time into the lens because the ellipses can be quite troublesome when you're sketching. So by putting some detail into the ellipses uh, I'm anticipating that will make it easier for me to sketch that element in the, in the, uh, the pen and paper drawing later on. So it's about being strategic with the details that you put in. I've also put quite a few angled faces in. Um, by building them in the model where it's quite easy, um, it should help me in terms of getting the angles right on paper later on. Here I'm adding some guidelines, to some perspective guidelines that will aid with any extensions I might make during the pen and paper sketching process. And now comes uh, the decision of what's the, the best view to generate some underlays. So I'm using the Revolve tool to um, uh, look at the drawing from different angles and now I'm going to export it as a 2D graphic. Now the SketchUp Pro version lets you export graphics as PDF files which have raster lines so they have a good high resolution. Um, but there are some uh, disadvantages of using PDF for export. Um, note here that I'm changing the camera viewing angle. So a larger number, in this case 40 degrees, makes for a more exaggerated perspective, more dramatic perspective. And that can be misleading. Here we are putting some shadows on um, and of course generating the shadows um, is very handy and SketchUp allows you to choose a location and a time of the year and a time of day and uh, for our purposes we don't much care about the location but we can use it as a way of adjusting uh, where the shadows are. And I'm trying to sh use a shadow which helps the form stand out but doesn't add too much rendering effort later on. So I don't want a shadow that's obtrusive or dominant, I want the shadow literally in the background. 
So having a look at the PDF I've generated, we can see some nice crisp lines and I've decided to add um, a background surface to allow the shadows to fall on, on the background so that I can render the object on paper um, with a nice shadow. And I found that exporting it as a JPEG rather than the PDF renders shadows on the object and the background as well. So I'll just clip switch to uh, the printout and there we have um, the underlay ready to trace off and uh, I should be able to turn that into a concept sketch and build on the basic camera idea. And I hope you find this technique useful, especially when you're trying to solve sketching problems.